டாக்டர் ஜி சுனிதா சுந்தரி ஐ எம் ஹெச்ஓடி டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் கேஎல் யூனிவர்சிட்டி விஜயவாடா ஐ ஹவ் கம்ப்ளீட்டட் மை எம்எஸ்சி ஃப்ரம் சென்ட்ரல் யூனிவர்சிட்டி ஹைதராபாத் அண்ட் ஐ ஹவ் டன் மை பிஹெச்டி ஃப்ரம் ஜேஎன்டியு ஹைதராபாத் and i am working in this university from past 10 years and i am having around 20 years of teaching experience and uh, research experience and in our department uh, we are having uh, uh, 12 faculty all are highly qualified and uh, doctoral faculty and uh, they are uh, doing uh, in various fields research is going on in various fields like nanotechnology atmospheric science glass science uh, etc we are having three big research labs in our university and uh, around 45 research scholars are working uh, in our department uh, they are doing their phd and two ongoing projects uh, are going on one is dst fist level 1 project and uh, another two ongoing dst and ugc projects are going on Uh, myself i am the pa for one ugc dae project our main uh, like we do teaching for btech as well as pg uh, btech teaching uh, okay in all the four years we do teaching but apart from that uh, regarding P- msc definitely it is different because uh, whatever we teach here is a research be oriented uh, teaching our the faculty are because they have lot of research expertise so using that expertise they take their classes and we we are having sponsored projects and so many research equipments in our labs so uh, students are getting hands on experience in their projects and one more important point in our in our department is they publish papers which generally pg students don't do in another universities we see that the students are Uh, exposed like uh, to research and uh, they do they get publication in reputed journals so in our department our faculty are publishing uh, publications in very high impact factor journals and uh, till now uh, if you see the 6 years record till now they have published in 250 papers uh, 50 journals so um, so and not only that another point what i would like to say like generally msc after msc students would like to do research mostly so that help they will get like when we do msc in another universities they are not exposed they are very new to research but here they get a lot of exposure and not only that if the student wants to go to uh, say another say uh, computer jobs after msc then our department in our course curriculum we are having few uh, computer based papers they will be learning uh, languages c language uh, uh, data structures etc and that will help them in sitting like they are they are participating in placement uh, training programs and they are getting jobs along with mtech students so this if they are interested in computers and few students uh, msc students they are showing interest in bank jobs or uh, government jobs so our university is having uh, like special training programs are there so, uh, academics uh, like they take care of uh, all these uh, suppose they are interested in banking or uh, gate exams or uh, any any research based exam any exams no they are giving training suppose uh, apart from that msc students if they are interested in teaching for example few students they will go for teaching so academic staff college is helping them so our students can go and take their help so all these things no in, uh, in different different like in research we are helping suppose they want to go for uh, higher education we are helping and one more point is our faculty have collaboration with uh, foreign universities so that uh, our students few students they are uh, they are interested in going to do research in foreign universities we are helping them and uh, one more interesting point in our pg program is uh, during the course part of the course no say 10% or uh, 15% uh, faculty we are uh, we are taking the help of foreign faculty online they are coming and they are showing their labs their experiences and few topics uh, the faculty are teaching so all these are helping our students to get good exposure not only our faculty we are foreign faculty are also teaching and they are showing their labs all these are the benefits uh, like 
for MSc students studying in Kale University. When I finished my PG, um, PhD, I joined this university, ma'am, in 2012. So when I joined, I was having only two publications, okay, and I was not having any encouragement in the previous, uh, like previous colleges where I used to work. When I submitted my PhD degree, also they did not encourage. It. But when I I thought this is not my place, then I came and joined Kale University. Here after coming, I have seen a research, first I have seen a research, uh, uh, so much of research is going on here and there are uh, encouragement, first um, President Sir and uh, higher management, higher authorities, they give lot of preference. Suppose we conduct some workshop or we want to do some, we want to go somewhere or we want to give any presentation, we got lot of encouragement madam and after coming here I have published around uh, 30 papers good journals and uh, when I applied for so many projects I was not getting like initially when I was submitting my projects I was not getting through then uh, we got so much of encouragement from uh, like senior professors are there madam and the president sir will uh, allow us to interact with so many people who works in DRDO or uh, DST labs and all no? they come here as a uh, resource person when they come here, they give a lot of tips. So those tips are really used, useful for me. Uh, for me personally, I got uh, so much of uh, like uh, encouragement from them. When I showed my project and all, they did a lot of corrections. So we get um, senior scientists and senior uh, people are there in the university who come as visiting professors or who are working here. They help a lot and they tell us the schemes which I was not aware. Like we, we came to know that there are so many schemes where we can apply and all. Uh, dean office, no? Dean R&D or uh, Dean, uh, many professors are working under D Dean R&D. So those people are very helpful to us. They tell us of different, different proposals, schemes, deadlines, uh, and uh, they do corrections of our pro proposals. These things are not there in previous organization. I'm having so many women faculty in my department, not only women, men also. They all, when they came here, uh, there is a drastic change. Uh, like when we work in a place where research is uh, important or something like that, we all automatically will get into that uh, place and we start adapting. So uh, I, I, I'm very much uh, thankful to the management and uh, to the people who helped me a lot in the field of research. Okay, apart from academics, research also plays an important role. Nowadays, uh, slowly we are aware that the skilling is becoming very important. And uh, yeah, we have started, uh, started skilling in our uh, department also, and uh, especially with MSc students. So uh, we are slowly learning, madam, all our courses, no? we are start converting converting them and we are trying to uh, introduce like LMS and all we are having already ERP LMS through LMS we want to do some activities and uh, skilling hands-on experience uh, all these things we are uh, we are doing it madam started doing in the curriculum yeah definitely skilling uh, see whatever is coming in the like uh, anything new introduction so first adoption Kale University will do madam that I have observed Actually, uh, MSc students in another college, if you see, they have they will be sitting in the classrooms and they will work in the lab. Okay, more than that, nothing will happen actually. But here, since it is a university in our college, if you observe every day, okay, any uh, department, anywhere, webinar, seminar, FDP, or conferences, national, international or that is re related to conferences apart from that uh, hobby clubs are there and we have different uh, surabi programs are there surabi cultural events college fests are there and all the events are celebrated like ganesh chaturthi is celebrated so and um, all the students they get uh, like whoever is having talent suppose a student can draw up, drag, uh, pictures or painting or singing music or any any talent or suppose a student is a good player 
they have facilities here so they can get exposed like they can show their talent so and we have ncc we have so many clubs are there madam uh, they can join any club and we have very big library uh, and these things make difference you know that is my love and my love my profession actually my dream is to become a teacher so research okay that is there but uh, teaching is my profession and i like my profession and once i complete my one hour class when i get down no i see the smile or i see the students expression that gives me lot of satisfaction and every day moving with the young generation every day we move with the young generation we feel younger that uh, that is my i love my profession madam and i enjoy teaching KL deemed to be university we are future ready